In today's video, I wanna show you guys on how you can make a workout slash exercise tracker on Google Sheets. Now this version, you can actually fill it out on Google Sheets directly, or you could actually make a printable version where you could log and physically fill it out. So whichever way you wanna do it, you can go ahead. And I actually got this from a suggestion in the comments. So I appreciate all your comments as well in the, my videos. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on Google Sheets and I'm gonna create a new blank spreadsheet here. But if you know me, you know I always like to put a little space here on the side. So I'm never gonna use column A. I'm gonna be using column B here, um, second row. And I'm gonna just call it exercise workout tracker, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select it, bold it, and just make it a little larger just so that way I can make it um, I could you know, easily just look at this and know what it is, right? Um, over here, what I wanna do is I wanna add a date. So obviously I wanna know what is the exact date or when is the exact date that I worked out. And I also wanna know like uh, workout time, right? Like how long did I work out for? Maybe 30 minutes, an hour, um, really however long you worked out for. And it's just great. <laughs> I have this day here and the workout time right over here. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about like what workouts that I do and specifically like, I'm not a gym professional, okay? But you can hit, for example, like chest, abs, uh, bicep, tricep, right? So you could do type in something called muscle group here and it will actually tell you. So after typing in my muscle group here, um, you can go ahead and you know fill it out over here on the cell next to it or the cell um, to the right of it. And what I could do as well is that I could just like kind of merge it, uh, merge these cells too. So um, I could type my answer here. So the date here, I could just color it. Um, if you want to make it really colorful, um, I color it yellow, workout time. I can also color it yellow as well. Um, and I'm just, again, making sure that they don't kind of don't overlap, right? So um, if they're kind of overlapping like this, I'm just going to merge it and then make the yellow over here. So it'll tell me workout time, muscle group. Again, it's merged as well. And this one, I could just kind of merge these cells together and uh, change the color yellow. Just so that way I could like type a good amount of what I want to type in. So for example, like bicep, tricep, abs, whatever. I'm not limited to any space here. And I could just kind of type uh, freely as much as I want. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start creating the table. So the, in this table that I want to create is I want to first log down what exercise that I did. So for this um, exercise column here, I could just uh, kind of expand it a little bit just so that way um, it kind of shows like, oh, this, these are the exercises that I'm doing, right? Then from there, I want to go ahead and start actually grouping these two columns together um, that are right next to exercise. So I'm going to group them in groups of two. So I'm going to merge this together, merge this together. I'm going to do this five times, okay? And you'll understand why in a sec. So group them together and group these ones together. Now these are gonna be your sets. So for example, you worked out, um, you know, five sets, right? Um, usually it's like four sets, but five just to be extra. So I wanna do set one, set two. Again, I'm just typing this in, pressing tab, set three, set four, and set five. So go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and select them, bold it as well. And I'm gonna increase the font size just to match everything up. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, center the text just so that way it's centered. So I have the exercise here and the sets. Now what you can do as well is you can also um, merge these two cells together for exercise, just because uh, the next row over, it's gonna be the different amount of weights and the different amount of reps that you did. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, center align this. And also I could vertically align it to the middle just so that way it looks better, right? So here we go. So we have set one and we have different weights and reps, right? So this is, uh, weights and reps are obviously, you know, how much did you lift and uh, how many times have you done it in a set, right? I could go ahead and uh, kind of stretch this so that way it will copy over. So weights, reps, weights, reps, um, over and over again. And I'm going to go ahead and center align this as well. <clears throat> so you can see here that the workout tracker is kind of coming along together. What I can do here is actually I can um, start adding borders to these. So you can go ahead and select about like maybe eight rows down. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, or maybe 10, you know, maybe if you work out a lot, you could go ahead and uh, select 10 rows down here. <clears throat> and since we're already on uh, Google Sheets, uh, it's very, very easy to make a table, right? So you can go ahead and hit borders here and you can go ahead and add, just add a border to um, the whole thing. So basically you have this nice uh, bordered table. You could change the weight to the border if you want to make it a little bit thicker, thinner, whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and make it um, just like this thin line, right? But the, for the borders around it, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little thick. So I have this nice table here for my exercises, uh, weights and reps. 
and the different sets that I've been doing, right? So as you can see here, the tracker is coming along together. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is maybe changing the sizing of this. So they, the, the sizing of these columns, they don't have to be that, um, that long, right? They don't have to be that wide. So I can go ahead and actually select all these columns here. And if you select it and you hit right click, you can actually go ahead and change the size. So you can go ahead and resize this, resize it to 75 perhaps. And you can see here that it actually looks much, much better, right? Um, again, if these are starting to run out of space, you can go ahead and merge them together. So now your date is a little bit longer and workout time is also going to be a little bit longer here as well. If you just, just merge the cells together, um, I'm doing that as well to the muscle group. Um, I'm also going to change the sizing of these just so they're a little bit less uh, crammed. So I'm going to resize this and I'm going to do maybe around 30 just so they're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit, um, you know, you could easily just uh, change and fill things in together, right? So once you have this complete, you can go ahead and start filling things out yourself manually, or you can just go ahead and print this out. Um, what I would usually do is again, I would kind of rename this into a template. If you go to the gym a lot, or you know, if you work out, you do know that it's relatively important to add cardio to your workout. So what you can also do as well is you can add a cardio exercise down here. So I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. So cardio exercise, I'm gonna hit bold. I'm gonna, you know, make it 12 point font just to match it again with everything. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, create a separate table, a new table, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and uh, group these together. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge these cells together here, these two, merge these two together, and I'm merging all the way till the set five, right? But instead of doing sets this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do a uh, different um, like cardio exercises uh, category. So for example, uh, cardio, you're going to be doing like either running or you're going to be on the elliptical or whatever. So you can go ahead and add like distance, for example, you can go ahead and add duration, you can go ahead and add speed and something like incline and maybe even like calories burned, right? Because uh, in the machines that will actually tell you like these specific uh, stats. So if you go, if you want to log it, you can. Again, I'm going to bold it to increase the font size and I'm going to hit, um, what is it? Center here, horizontal align. <laughs> and what I can do as well is I could start merging these cells together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Merge cells together here underneath it. So the rows underneath are uh, following as well. And I don't believe, you know, I, I usually don't do more than like one cardio exercise when I'm at the gym. I'm only just like on the treadmill or uh, elliptical, or whatever. But you can go ahead and uh, add as many rows as you want. So you can go, you would go ahead and merge these together. Um, anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and also uh, go ahead and add the borders here as well. I don't want it to be that thick, so I could change the thickness here. And I could go ahead and change the outer borders to a little bit thicker, just so that way it looks nicer. So there you go. So now we have the um, workout uh, tracker ready. I could go ahead and change things up if I want to. Like for example, I'm gonna change this to black and change the font color to white, just so that way it, there's a little bit of contrast here on the cardio exercise uh, field. As well as this exercise too, I could change it to black and change the font to white, just so that way it looks a little bit cleaner, it looks a little bit better, right? And you can go ahead and increase the font size here. And there you go. So you can go ahead and you know print this out if you would like. You can go ahead and fill this out manually and make it into a template if you would like, like, like the way I have it here. Again, Google Sheets may not be the most ideal for this, but it gets the job done. You can go ahead and print it. Uh, I'm also going to just resize these rows real quick to, I think it was 30, just to match the rows here. So there you go. Perfect workout tracker here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of merge this and center it just so that way it's a little bit better. And I, you know what, just for, just because I'm cool and it's, it's 2025, I'm going to add an emoji. So I'm going to do like a workout. Here you go. Or like a gym. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Or weights, maybe weights. There you go. This is a cool, uh, cool little emoji up here. So there you go. I've just created this workout tracker. Um, you can go ahead and print this out as well. So if you go ahead and hit file and hit print, you can go ahead that and see that you could print them out like a uh, landscape mode, or if you want, you could print them out portrait mode and actually, uh, have a copy of, uh, another set down here. So that way you're not wasting paper, right? So what I can do as well is I could just copy this, like literally control C, I'm just selecting all the ones that I've done, control C and control V down here. And what I could, and as you can see here, I've just, you know, duplicated the same thing uh, with the exception that these uh, these cells need to be resized to 30. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So 
to 30. And then this one as well, resize them to 30 as well. And as you can see that now we have two different uh, workout trackers and you save paper that way if you do choose to print them out, right? Um, again, if you are gonna fill them out on Google Sheets, you can go ahead and do it uh, one at a time here by duplicating them or even just two, right? You can go ahead and log uh, two different exercises in one or two different sessions in one sheet just so that way you save uh, file space as well or just like so you don't have a clutter of sheets, you know, you cut it by cut it down by half. But yeah, there you go. This is a really easy exercise and workout tracker. And as you know, um, you can also hide the grid lines. So when you go to view, show, and you uncheck the grid lines here, you can see that it's a little, it looks a little bit cleaner just because um, it hides all the Excel grid lines and you can go ahead and start typing things out without the grid lines being in the way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Like I said, you can go ahead and print this out yourself. And as you can see here, when you print them out, it will look like this and it'll look great actually in portrait mode, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, let me just print it out right now and show you kind of how it looks like in person, right? I just got back from my printer and as you can see here, I'm gonna focus real quick. You can see how nicely it turns out. There's a little bit like fading. There's a little bit of the uh, boxes out here for the, you know, the wraps and stuff like that, but you can see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you find this tracker useful for your upcoming gym sessions or workout sessions, whatever you choose to do. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button down below and I'll see you guys all in the next video.